This video will show you how to use Tube Assist Pro to run YouTube. I will talk about the account settings, task settings. The first part, account management, add account category, input a random name. Input information. The column with an asterisk must be filled with data. Or you can put the information in a text or CSV file. CSV file format like this. Text file format like this, separated by commas. Select all accounts. Click proxy for multiple accounts. You can add proxy one by one, or import multiple proxies from the file. One proxy per line. You can use the same proxy for multiple accounts. Select proxy, select accounts. Bind proxies successfully. Here you can set the task running maximum time under the account. Click IP and fingerprint to bind IP and fingerprint. Set blacklist in task running. Add it directly. Or import from file. Here you can set task in module running thread. Set program language. When running tasks, may need to verify accounts, go to 2Capture website to select service. Put 2Capture API key here, so the software can use 2Capture service. Click start to check the accounts. This is debug window. See checking status here. Here you can see the account status, page URL, views, subscribers. Now, we go to task settings. How to add YouTube running task. Input a task name. Here you can choose other actions. You can export task to local file. Import task means you can import JSO and file to task setting management. Next, I will show you how to add commonly used function in YouTube. Comment videos. Click the right button to add which function do you need. First, we have to add accounts used to search video, choose random accounts here. Next, add comment function. Here we need to choose video sources. Four ways to add the video sources. The first way, input the video's link in URL. Input the video's link directly. Or you can input video's link in CSV or text file, one URL one line. Format like this. Make sure the URL module ahead of comment module. 
so you can select URL as the video source. The second way to add video source in comment module. Use search function. Select account. Here we need to input keywords used to search. So we need to add a text module to input keyword. You can choose import from file. Choose one value per line or multiple value in one line. Select the keywords we just input in text. Select those conditions, like the conditions in YouTube search page. Set how many videos do you need the software to search. So here in comment module, we can choose the search module as the video source. The third way to add video source in comment module. Get the channel's video. Select account. Channel source, we can input the channel link in URL module. Insert a URL module to input channel link. Better to rename the module. It will be easier for me to differentiate from other URL modules. Input the channel's link here. Select the URL channel link module. Set the search amount. So in the comment module, we can choose get the channel's video module. The fourth way to add video source in comment module. Search video by subscription. Select account. You can set the video upload time. Set search account. Here we can choose search video by subscription module as the video source. Select account. Comment source. We need to insert a new text module to keep the comment. Click the right button to insert a text module. Rename it. Input the comment words. Back to comment module, choose comment text. Take those two conditions. Here we can decide to use which channel of a YouTube account to comment. Now, we need to insert a text module, input the channel name. Back to comment module, choose channel name text. You can also choose to use all channels. So you do not need to insert a channel name in the text module. Runtime means how many videos and video source we use to comment. Better set interval time. All settings have been done. Now I use search video by subscription module as the video source. So I need to delete other modules I used to show the different ways to add the video source. I have deleted the other modules. Now I add a save result module to save the running result. Choose comment module I need to save. Select success results mean I want to save the successful comment results.
Select a file path to keep the results. Click Start to run the task. You can set schedule time here. Now we click Run Now to run the comment task. The column in green shows this module has been run successfully. The column in yellow shows this module is running. The comment task has been run successfully. Click account view. We can see all task running information. I will upload more task settings at the following videos. That's all. Thanks for watching.